Okay, we are now in chapter 13 on gravity. Okay, and um, it starts off with here is that we would like to consider why do celestial bodies move the way they do? So the mo motion of celestial bodies. What are celestial bodies? Right, these can be planets, galaxies, stars, right? This is why we have this beautiful, awesome, wonderful picture of a galaxy right there. This is a celestial body, right? There's many stars. Um, here we have a galaxy. So, um, why do we have the motion of why do celestial bodies move the way they do uh, why do for example the earth's moon why does the moon behave the way it does why does it keep its specific orbit around the earth why does the earth have its specific orbit around the sun okay so we will see that our understanding of mechanics that we've been applying so far can also describe the motion of celestial bodies. Okay? Alright. So, we come to universal gravity. As I said uh, earlier, um, the moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun okay and what they found is that the the earth moon system revolving around the sun um, is approximately a is approximately circular motion so it, it revolves in a circular way the same as in the same way the moon also revolves around the earth in, a, in an approximately circular path, okay? So, Earth around the Sun, Moon around the Earth, circular motion, okay? And the second thing is, so that's the first thing, circular motion, and the second thing is, they move at approximately constant speeds, right? So the Earth, Moon system, moves at approximately a con constant speed around the sun. So as you can see, here we have the Earth. There's its velocity vector. And there we have the Moon. And there's its velocity vector. Okay. And the next thing is, if these objects are moving in circular motion, right, at constant speed, then they should have centripetal Cent, help me, centripetal, centripetal acceleration, which we've learned of, okay? Centripetal acceleration, acceleration that's pointing towards the center of that circular motion, the center of that curve, okay? So the earth is pointing to, the, the acceleration of the earth is pointing towards the sun, and the acceleration of the moon is pointing towards the earth, Okay? Okay, so that's essentially what's being said there. Now the question is, be because there's an acceleration, there has to be some force that is applying this uh, centripetal acceleration. And of course, it's not a contact force, so it has to be a field force, right? A, a force that is applied at a distance, okay? And... Um, this is really the focus of where we're getting to. And what Newton found, what Newton found, is that this, this force that is causing the centripetal acceleration, okay, is the same force that is causing an object to fall to the Earth's surface. So if you throw up a ball, throw up a whatever, a pen, and it falls to the Earth, that same force is the force that is uh, keeping the moon in, an, in a circular orbit around 
the earth or keeping well actually I'm, I'm comparing two things that shouldn't be compared but this, the specific example is the earth moving around sorry the moon moving around the earth is this is accelerated by the same force that is causing a ball to accelerate to, towards the earth okay so the reason why the moon moves in this circular orbit is that it already has some kind of tangential velocity and as it's moving in this direction it keeps being accelerated towards the earth and it moves in this kind of circular fashion okay see you in the next one